there's a part of society that just says, oh, they're just farmers. I've never felt like I, I wish I'd walked a different path. And I think part of it is I have three boys that I've raised on a farm that work as hard as they work and understand the benefit of working hard doesn't necessarily mean driving a Mercedes. Working hard has its own rewards. Spinning Spider is, our, is a farmstead dairy and an artist in creamery. That means that all the milk for our cheese is produced right here on the farm. It is, in every sense, a family operation. My boys help me on the farm every day on a lot of different levels. I mean, I couldn't do it without them. Twice a day every day they milk, twice a day every day they feed, and three times a day on some of the babies they feed bottles. So right there is much more than just one eight-hour day. It's several people's worth of work. My family knows the animals as well as I do. And so any one of us can just capture in an instant if something's going wrong and we communicate and we address it. And I think that's one of the reasons the herd stays so healthy is because I'm not relying on somebody else who maybe doesn't understand the significance of, of what they're seeing. A healthy herd, healthy goats, healthy milk, and you know, and that again translates to good, good cheese. The skill set that we value here is commitment and, and willingness to understand accountability. And there is no, I don't feel like milking today or I don't feel like feeding today, that these animals rely on us for everything. And we can't, we can't just put our needs first. When I make cheese, I have a long-term planning that has to happen. And it actually starts with the goats. Like if I'm looking at my herd in August, I'm actually planning what milk I'm gonna need a year, a year and a half down the line. I start a cheese make every three days, pretty much. However, I'm in the cheese kitchen seven days a week, and so it might be that I'm managing cheeses in the aging area where they're getting washed with a brine every other day, or my surface ripened cheeses are getting flipped and moved every day. There's always something to be doing. It's not something mid-season that I ever could really walk away from very easily. We rely on the fact that we have a customer base that understands the importance of local. When you have an opportunity for people to buy local food, the next step is to actually get them to see where the food is produced. Part of the commitment to local is an education process. We bring people in and we can, we can help them understand why it's important and maybe it's more expensive, but why is it more expensive? And they can make the choices based on that as opposed to walking into a grocery store and, and seeing a local food table that maybe local means the Southeast as opposed to 20 miles down the road. I see my primary role as a chef as someone who is celebrating these producers. It's my job to make sure that their work is recognized. I couldn't do what I do if, if the farmers and producers were not doing what they do. When a chef comes to, to visit me and takes the time out of their busy schedule, it validates my lifestyle choice. It validates my commitment to my product line and my commitment to my lifestyle choice. And, and, and it doesn't get any better than that. Their belief in what they're doing and their commitment to the process, no matter what that takes, no, many, no matter how many hours it takes, uh, no matter how many mistakes it takes to figure out the right way to do it, it creates this integrity of product that is unmatchable. He's very intuitive. I could just hear that he got it. There were a lot of questions that he asked that, that said to me that he understood where I was coming from and, and asking details about the process. It made me feel good to know that I could, you know, I could educate him. Um, but also just, that was, a, that was a tremendous gift for him to come and give and spend time and ask questions. And it's nothing we ever take for granted. To see the entire process, to, you know, rub the noses of the goats and <laughs> 
um, be in the cheese making room for the, for the entire make. One of the things I was thinking during the entire afternoon was, could I, could I do this?